filming day. Well, every day is a filming day, right? See what we find, see what we create, see what we uh, explore. Just waiting for Joe. We're doing a mic check. Hello, my name is Seth Demore. I enjoy Andy's custard, and I like mowing my lawn, and I even enjoy looking at rabbits in my front yard. And I'm just talking so that Joe can get the decibel levels correct, because he is an audio genius, and I am not. Cut. Back at the house, back at the house, shout out, as always, to the one and only, Mr. Joe. Joe is always crushing it when it comes to cinematography. And Joe is... <laughs> Trader Joe's, you crush it too. Trader Joe's, you crush it too. You crush it too. Uh, but I'm talking about Joe, who uh, you just saw a minute ago. Joe is like an expert at the technical side of videography. And I must say, it's a weakness. It's a weakness. I'm not as good as him. He's just, he's just legit when it comes to knowing the details of audio and cameras. And I aspire, Joe. I aspire. Okay, now, shout out to the one and only Irish Steve. Irish? Steve? Something came in the mail. Let's see. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm about to hand... Oh. <laughs> the Godfather. The Godfather comes through in the clutch and sends little socks to Michael. Hon, this is perfect timing because Michael is right here. Yeah, it's hit me. And you got a little gift from no, the Godfather. No, no. Oh my gosh. Na, 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 na. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what was I asking for a couple days ago for Michael? Cozy baby booties. Cozy baby. I was asking, where, where's socks. Michael's socks? Oh my gosh, Steve, you are amazing. Those will be good for what's coming up in June. Camping. Camping. Do you know what? We we only have like itty bitty newborn socks or socks that are for when he's like 12 months old. He's smiling. So these are going to be perfect. He's Did smiling. you like your smart wool He's smiling. Hi. Yay. Hi. Hi. You ready for socks? That is so oh. awesome. Steve saying you're the man. Isn't that awesome? Hun, That's amazing. Smart Hi YouTube, I'm going to hand it off to True Love, she's going to talk about the closet, I'm going to go read the books mm -hmm. to the boys, love you guys, True Love, take it away, You're great take it away. If you got the power, I got the feeling, big drums are twist stealing, silver on gold, souls of the mountains. YouTube, I am so excited to show you my closet. We live in a house that we love, we love every inch of it, but it is small, it's 1,080 square feet. And this is the closet in the main bedroom, and my dear husband uses the one in the nursery. And not only do I uh, store all my clothes, I need to have efficient ways of doing it, and I also need space and contraptions to store other things like paperwork and taxes and files and things like that. And I also want it to look pretty because who doesn't want to look at something beautiful? Seek beauty. So I've come up with a couple ideas to share with you that might help you. First are these three beautiful flower boxes and they're actually nesting boxes I got at Tuesday mornings and I love them. They're very reasonably priced and then inside each one I can store different types of important paperwork and files but it still looks beautiful and the ones that I don't need as much are up there and this one that I reference a lot is right here. Also for like those types of garments you only wear like twice a year to weddings or um, formal events, the undergarments, I have these really beautiful little kind of see-through baskets that kind of pull in all the pink and I love it. 
And then, here's my favorite thing. This shelf thingy from Ikea. This was from the Ikea haul a couple days ago. And basically, it's a bunch of drawers added to your closet and it does not take up that much space. To be honest, what was hanging here before were these two really big robes I have and wear and love. Um, but now that it's turned into summer, I only ever wear those in the winter. So I store them within this, but still have all these other shelves. And one of the things I added to it was this cute little basket my mother-in-law got me and in here I'm just gonna stick things that like I need to deal with like for instance um, like a return or something that didn't work or something that needs to be hemmed or dry cleaned or something like that I can just throw in that basket I also have this great shoe tub and it goes with the color scheme which I love it's like a Tiffany blue mint blue and I can shovel my summer shoes in there normally I wear my Nike shoes all day every day but for date nights or mass I want to wear some of the cuter fancier shoes but I don't want to have to go digging under my bed which is where I store my shoes normally um, so putting them in that tub and then the ones I use the most are on the top great and it also looks beautiful and then I'm sure you've seen these before the little um, scarf hangers that can help store space and just a little note I mean I used to have two of these hangers and each hole had like two or three scarves in it nobody needs that many scarves just watch for the ones you normally gravitate to just pare down to just one hanger and even this I feel like is too many I need to pare down and then you're able to see what you want grab it and go lastly I love this is a love box I have a picture of my true love in here and my little sister got this made this for me when Seth and I first got married and she just said use this to put in all the love letters your husband writes to you and so it's basically jam-packed full but I love it and whenever he's out of town or on a long trip or anything like that I just pull it out and read it um, but bottom line is this I'm able to store not only all my clothes and all my formal wear I have this awesome thing to store things I'm out of season or things I'm not wearing use it also as an organizer and in addition I'm utilizing these shelves with beautiful like eye-catching every time I open my closet I'm like oh it's so pretty in here but it's also functioning as uh, almost like a little mini office and this is uh, actually like a little makeup container that I got from Ulta a couple years ago I don't know I guess what I would say is if you open your closet and you're not like in love with it you don't need to go spend five hundred dollars and do a giant makeover just budget like 30 35 50 at the most and go pick out a few boxes or containers or um little storage things like this that are that will one serve a purpose and two when you open it will actually kind of make you feel like no oh, okay we got this day <laughs> those are my tips best of luck enjoy your day seek beauty work hard organizing your closet and love each other see you tomorrow